If you'll record using your computer, you're going to record directly into something called a digital audio workspace or a DAW. Podcasters use all sorts of different DAWs, so it comes down to preference. Pro Tools, Hindenburg, Studio One, GarageBand are all popular options. The DAW I'm going to use for this course is called Audacity. I chose Audacity because it can be downloaded on a Mac, PC, or a Chromebook, and it's free. The principles you'll learn will be true across all DAWs, but the interface and some of the shortcuts will look a little different if you end up using a different one. I'm using a Zoom H6 recorder again as an example, except this time I'm going to plug it into my computer and use it as an audio interface. I have my mics plugged in just like when I was using the Zoom H6 as a recorder. Only this time, I'm going to change all of my settings on my DAW. I'll open my DAW, in this case I'm using Audacity, which we'll talk more about in Module 4. In Audacity, the microphone input and output are listed at the top. In most DAWs, you'll find these settings on each track. Unfortunately, on Audacity, you can only record with one input at a time. In this case, the Zoom H6 acts as one input. So I'm able to plug two microphones into it, and it will record them both on the same track. From the microphone dropdown, I'll select H6. Then from the next dropdown, you have an option of recording in mono or stereo. Mono is a single channel, and it means the sound that comes out of your right and left speakers are exactly the same. Stereo is two channels, and the sounds that come out of the right and left speakers are different. For most podcasters, it doesn't matter which option you select. Mono works just fine for conversational shows. If you're creating something more complicated with sound design, you might want to record in stereo. You'll be able to play with the sound a bit more. Next, you'll want to select your headphones from the output dropdown. Mine are the built-in output. The last thing I would check is this project rate at the bottom. It's currently set at 44,100 hertz or 44.1 kilohertz, which is perfect for podcasting. The 48,000 option would also be fine, but it's not necessary and it'll make your file size larger. Now that my settings are correct, I'm going to press this big red record button and you'll see it creates a new audio track. I'm going to take a look right here and check to see if I can see a waveform so I know it's recording. I can also see that I'm getting a bounce on the audio meter and that my levels look good. It's hitting between this negative 12 to negative 6 range and it's not turning red. When the meter turns red, you know your recording is going to be distorted. If I do see that it's going into the red, I can turn down the recording volume here or up if it's too quiet, but it looks pretty good so I'm going to just leave it there. Since everything looks good, I can record my whole podcast and when I'm done, I'll press the stop button. And there we have it. We have our audio file ready to edit.